Welcome back guys, I'm Marcio, you're watching The Urban Man, what else? So today I've got a little product review here for you, it's gonna be on the Wishi, let me just make sure, 9306G, which is a twist to open cap, that's it, twist it, opens up, put your blade in there, and you close it in. The packaging looks like that comes in this nice little plastic box, your razor. It is a one-piece TTO razor. And inside there you get one Dorco blade. This is the ST300. Comes with one of these blades inside here, which is the blade that I've got in here. Let's just open this up here quickly, so you guys can see that there. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna close this up. So another reason why I'm using this razor, just leave it here soaking quickly. Another reason why I want to leave that there so uh, use this razor is I tied out Bundelbeard's uh, DE1 uh, razor, which was a really nice um, mild razor, mild to medium razor. And uh, I want to just compare the two and uh, see which one is more milder than the other. So uh, I've been, before we get into that, vaping the Kelly Burn still. Nothing can still compare to this guy. And uh, got the G Shock. GW5000 on the wrist. Beautiful watch. Take a quick bite of it there. All right, so uh, more about the razor. Uh, really nice small handle, so easy to maneuver around the face. Um, it's not knurling, it's got this uh, like grooved pattern on the outside, so it is quite nice to hold. I don't see it slipping or anything in the hand. And uh, the twist to open is operated by this valve here at the bottom, this little knob here. And once it's tight, it's tight. Uh, it doesn't feel loose, the blade in there. It really secures it in nicely and uh, holds it in there evenly. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is I've already fixed up my lather. Uh, what I want to do is just, I've washed my face already. I've heated up the, my face, put a cloth there once already. Just want to do it one more time. Just to open up those pores. Open up those pores there nicely. Good. Alright. That should do the trick. Alright. Uh, soap. Soap. What are we using? So I can show you guys. I'm using Bundebeard. Okay, you can't really see it. Sandal soap. I had a they sent me a little sample with my last order, the sandalwood. Um, so that's that guy here, and uh, I'm still using my sample. <laughs> I show after trying out that sample, I ordered um, a puck for myself. So I've whipped up my lather over here. Really, really nice. I really enjoy the scent of this. It's nice. Uh, it's not too overpowering. What I'm gonna do is let's get this working on the face already. So this video doesn't turn out to be super, super long for you guys. Uh, my brush, I'm using the Bundelbeard. This was called the Custard, the Bundelbeard Custard. Manufactured in-house by Yaku, the owner of Bundelbeard. I'm going to leave the moustache area, so I'm not going to focus on that. Let's get this way that going. The knot on here is a finest badger knot. So it really leathers up nicely on the face. I really enjoy using this brush, uh, my previous brush. Where's that guy? Let me show you. Was this a little synthetic brush? It works! You know, if you're starting out, I used that for a couple of good months, about Eight months I used that brush so uh, I had no issues with that brush it works uh, but then yeah why don't you try out one of these guys big difference all right let's start painting this on the face you can see how nicely it layers up and nice and slick not the slickest but still Quite slick, really, really nice and smooth skin there. 
All right, so we're going to hopefully do this in a two pass, but uh, I think this is a, from what I read, it's more of a mild to medium razor, so it's probably going to land up turning into a three pass. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's close that up over here. Okay, so I've left this in soaking. So like I said, this is the Dorco, uh, which should be a mild to medium razor. Let's see how it goes. Let's clear these runways here quickly. Okay. Finding the angle on you super easy. Okay, that's going nice and smooth. It's gliding a bit over, I think for me, I'm using the same blade that I used on the DE1. And it seems to be gliding a little bit over easier. Uh, I've got uh, some nice audible feedback. Got, it's actually got some nice feedback this razor. Uh, I can feel when it's cutting. And it cut. The angle is super easy to pick up on, yeah? Alright, now when I start with my neck, my hair growth starts. My hair growth at the bottom actually grows upwards. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go the, do the bottom, but first, this is with, actually with the grain on for me. Again, nice feedback. Right in here. Alright, so that's just the bottom part, then obviously I can switch downwards. Let me just do this one. There, okay. Switch over. Okay, first pass complete. Uh, that actually went really, really well. Um, I actually really enjoyed the shape of this. Uh, let's feel how the first pass went. Okay, and the, the chin here definitely needs to be come down quite a bit. This is where my beard is actually the thickest is under the chin. The cheeks, okay, I can definitely feel some stubble there still. All right, so we definitely are in the, um, I would say this is more milder than the DE1. Uh, the DE1, there was, it did, definitely did cut much more. Like I said, use the same blade. I'm using the same blade as I did in the DE1. So I can definitely, definitely feel um, that uh, the DE1 is a slightly little bit more of a medium razor compared to uh, this Wishi 9306G. Let's uh, lather up, let's do another pass and uh, see how we do. Try lather up here nice and quick. Like I said, this brush is this not as beautiful. Just lathers up so easy. And this, this scent, this uh, sandalwood is beautiful. It's, it's a really, um, how can I put it into words? It's really not overpowering, but it's like a nice fresh, got a really nice fresh scent to it. Okay, that should be fine. Wash, not wash the hands, we just rinse the hands. All right, so we're gonna go now across the grain. Let's start with the cheeks again. Let's start with the right hand side this time. 
I'm definitely here cutting. Somebody had asked me uh, how many passes should you be doing when you are starting to, well, when you're using a safety razor. And it all depends, guys. Um, it depends on what razor you're using. It depends on what blade you're using. And a lot of other factors like your technique. It depends on your pre-shave, your soap, uh, that helps as well. Uh, but mainly the two main factors, well three, will be technique. I would say technique number one. Uh, number two, the razor you're using. Some are more aggressive than others. And three would be the blade that you're using. Different razors have uh, different razors have different aggressiveness or oh, sharper than others. Like uh, the Storco compared to a feather blade, obviously your feather is going to be uh, sharper. So now we went up on the neckline. Now we're going to go downwards, which is against the grain. And there's my kitty. I think it's feeding time. This area of my neck is the most sensitive. As I said, that area of my neck is the most sensitive. And we have blood! Even though this is a mild razor, that part of my, if I don't really pay close attention to it, always some weepers, always draw a little bit of blood around there, that part of the face. Alright, so let's feel. Okay, the cheeks are pretty smooth, but yeah, not so much around my neck area. So we're gonna have to do a third pass on the neck area and see how that comes out. You can see all this leather just whipping up on the face. It's beautiful. This. See the wood from the beard. I'll leave the description in below where you can pick up this sandal wood. I don't know if they ship internationally. You'll have to inquire about that because this is a locally made soap. Alright, so we're going to do one more pass this time. Let's go. The cheek was pretty clean, so... More just cleaning up if there's any little bits. Yeah, it's not cutting anything around there anymore. This part of the face is pretty much clean. BBS, baby but smooth. Let's just bring it the grace under here. Let's go across the grain this time.
really glide this well the soap really helps this razor just glide over the skin beautifully We are almost done. That's it. Done. All right. Let's just rinse this off again. Like that. Okay. Let's feel. Okay, still slightly a little bit around there. We can just do some slight touch-ups around that area now. Around there and there. There too. The rest is really cleaned up nicely. I don't know if you can hear that, still cutting. So definitely a more milder razor than the DE1 so for a beginner if you really want the mildest of mildest razors um, this one Wishy 9036G is the razor for you uh, yeah if you're scared if you really want the mildest of mildest that you can get this is a good one for you. All right, I think we are done. There we go. Just a little bit of it. That's it. That's it. Done. All right, let's finish this off. Okay, so rinse the face with some cold water. Then, uh, where's this guy? Grab my loom block. Always love just passing over with the loom block. Quickly done. A little bit of stinging around the sensitive neck area, but besides that, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Now, what I'm finding another experiment of mine was my neck area. Yeah. Okay, not bad. I usually get a little bit of a rash, it's not too bad. Um, I found using actually the pre-shape oil. The pre-shape oil, it does help a little bit. Uh, it does help a little bit. Okay, let's close this off. What we're gonna do is, for my balm, I'm using this uh, Be Natural 100% Natural Men's Aftershave Balm. It's uh, orange and sandalwood, but very, very, you can almost, not even, you can't even barely smell that uh, sandalwood or orange it's a uh, very natural it's got a very natural scent to it but man it leaves the skin feeling so smooth and fills it with beautiful oils natural skin oils to keep your skin healthy I usually just even rub it around the face it's got some good good oils natural it's all 100% natural oils in here there we go, we're done. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Turned out really nice. As said, wishy the uh, 9306. Oh, I keep on forgetting 9306. If you're looking for something really, really mild, this could be the razor for you. 
Um, yeah, it's not a bad razor after all. I prefer something a little bit more. Um, I, I would say I prefer my DE1 slightly a bit more. It's not that it's much more aggressive, the DE1, but uh, it is noticeable to an extent, uh, especially after that first pass. Um, you could definitely feel that it was, it's not as an aggressive razor as a DE1. When I'm talking about as aggressive, I'm talking about the slightest of difference. The DE1 definitely did take a little bit of the stubble off. But yeah, like I said, I think it's a great razor if you want to try out the uh, safety razor or DE shaving. And you're a little bit scared on the scared side, grab one of those guys up. I'm sure if you stick a feather blade there, a uh, feather blade, it'll probably be equal to the DE1. And here we have the Wishi 9306, a little bit close up and personal, model stroke G. Overall construction is really good. The twist to open works as it is supposed to. It operates very smoothly and once the blade is locked into place, it's not moving from anywhere. Also, it has really, really nice even blade exposure on either side once the blade is into place. The materials used is obviously not of the highest grade. You're getting what you pay for here. But for the price point, I'm really happy with this purchase. Who is this razor for? If you are looking for a razor and you, well, a safety razor, and it is your first one, yes, this razor might just be the one for you. I can highly recommend it for any beginner, or anybody actually for that matter of fact, looking for a very, very mild razor, then yes, I think this is the razor for you. Let's get back up on top. Anyways guys, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. And uh, also, I do appreciate, yeah, I do appreciate the subs. Leave down comments below. If you want to find out regarding one of these products, I'll put the link for that and the shaving soap below. Uh, enjoy having you guys out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers for now.